Okay, I'll explain again. So uh, when the tank is open, then the pressure inside the tank will come will come into the uh, atmospheric pressure. For example, the the, the value is uh, one atm. Then you close the tank. Instead of putting compressor, now you run what you call vacuum pump or vacuum compressor. It means you decreasing the pressure inside the closed tank. So if previously the value is 1 atm, after you close the tank, use the vacuum pump, then the pressure inside the tank will be less than atmospheric pressure. For example, the value is 0 0.75 atm. It means the value of the absolute pressure is 0 0.75 atm. Jadi nilai absolute pressure, Anda ingat kembali ya, absolute pressure is the total actual pressure. So the total actual pressure, the, ex, uh, the absolute pressure is 0 0.75 atm. If you put the pressure gauge, and the pressure gauge is measuring the differences between inside and outside pressure, then the value of the gauge pressure will be minus 0 0.25 atm. That's what you call vacuum pressure. So the minus are uh, actually showing that the actual pressure or the absolute pressure inside the tank is lower than the atmospheric pressure. So if you're using this equation, the value of P vacuum will be minus. But if you are calculating by the second equation, the value will be positive. Because atmospheric pressure is higher than the absolute pressure in the vacuum condition. If you are reducing the pressure inside the uh, tank until very very low you may reach the absolute pressure equals zero that's what you call absolute vacuum yeah kalau anda punya uh, vacuum pump yang sangat canggih if you are very very sophisticated vacuum pump then you can reducing the pressure inside the tank further so the pressure can reach zero this one the absolute Thank you. Okay, any question first? All good, sir. Okay. Yeah. This figure actually showing what I have explained uh, earlier. So the atmospheric pressure, atmospheric pressure is not always 1 atm just be careful it's not always 1 atm if it is not stated in the problems then you can assume it's 1 atm but if it's stated or if you know the uh, location the height of the environment uh, relatively uh, to the sea level then you can calculate the uh, atmospheric pressure by using hydrostatic, of course. And in sea level, the value of atmospheric pressure is 1 atm. Here. 1 atm equals this one, right? If you convert it to Pascal. Okay. This is just example uh, in, uh, for you to 
understand, uh, especially for the vacuum condition, right? So in this example, uh, vacuum gauge, it means the pressure pressuring device connected to the chamber. Chamber is the system. And the vacuum gauge shows the value of 5.8 PSI. So P vacuum is 5.8 PSI, pound per square inch. And the chamber is put in the location where the atmospheric pressure is 14.5. Because it's a vacuum gauge, then you can know that the pressure inside the chamber is lower compared to the atmospheric pressure. So the absolute pressure in the chamber will be the atmospheric pressure minus the gauge vacuum pressure. So the value will be 8.7 psi. And please note that the uh, local value of the atmospheric pressure, so the value of the atmospheric pressure is important to calculate the uh, gauge pressure. And the local value of atmospheric pressure will be depending on the height of the location compared to sea level. Okay, yeah? should be clear enough? Or do you have any question? Sir, question, sir. So in the previous slide, sir, uh, if you want to calculate the pressure, this one? Uh, you just yeah, you just use uh, uh, what do you use, sir, to calculate the pressure, sir? Like uh, in regards that the pressure isn't given, you know. Oh, okay. If you need to calculate the uh atmospheric pressure in a certain position for example this is the earth uh, earth uh, surface but uh, in the sea level right for example you have location that the surface is very very high and then you do calculation or you put the chamber on the top of the mountain it means like 50 kilometers above the sea level right so the atmospheric pressure at 50 kilometers will be lower than the atmospheric pressure at sea level, right? So you just, you can use, but later we will derive the equation that at 50 kilometers will be atmospheric at zero kilometers minus density of air times gravitation times 50 kilometers, the height of the location. Sir? Yep. How do you find the density of air? Do we assume the 80% of nitrogen and 20% of oxygen, sir? Uh, yeah, you can calculate the density of air, uh, but actually if you move up like 50 kilometers, the composition of the air will be different, right? So you need to know the composition of air, uh, average composition from zero to 50. You can use the average value. Because the density of the, the air is also uh, reduced when you move to the higher position. So the 80-20 only applies to the stratosphere, is it? Our, yes. our ground level? Yes. Yes. Okay. And actually, yes, like uh, until uh, 10 kilometers, the differences of the atmospheric pressure, uh, I think it's not uh, significant enough. But you still can calculate by using this one. Like 10 kilometers, then the density at the head of the uh, place that 10 kilometers above the sea level will still lower than sea level atmospheric pressure. Bisa dihitung pakai persamaan yang tadi. Karena makin tinggi tempatnya, maka tekanan atmosferiknya itu makin berkurang. Karena satu, densitas dari udaranya makin turun, dan kemudian memang kalau kita naik ke uh, 
ke tempat yang lebih tinggi itu tekanan hidrostatika atau tekanan the hydrostatic pressure of the fluid is also uh, produced. But later we will discuss about the hydrostatic pressure. Any other question? Thank you, sir. Okay, we will continue. Uh, that's another problem that you can do by yourself. Okay, now we go into the hydrostatic pressure, the one that has been questioned by uh, Kevin. Okay. The example is this one. So you have a container, you have a glass or a cylinder, for example, then you fill the container with water. So this one is, for example, water. The water is in static condition. The statics means the water is not moving, right? Another definition, if the static, uh, if the fluid or the water is in static condition, it means all the force that acts by the water or act upon the water is zero. Yeah. Jadi kalau fluida itu berada dalam kondisi statik, artinya kan dia tidak bergerak. Selain tidak bergerak, berarti gaya-gaya yang bekerja pada fluida tadi itu sama dengan nol. Nah, gaya apa saja yang bekerja? Then you can uh, from this one, you can make a model to derive the the force that act on the liquid on the water. So you can uh, make what you call the boundary layer or the control volume of the liquid become box sheet. Yeah. Jadi Anda bisa membuat tadi air yang ada di dalam uh, tangki atau gelas itu menjadi sebuah uh, daerah batas atau kontrol volume yang bentuknya adalah box atau kotak. You can make the model of the water inside the glass or the container into the box shapes. This is what you call control volume. Volume means three dimension. You have a length, you have width, you have height. So in Cartesian uh, sumbu itu ya. In Cartesian direction, then you have x. X is this one. Z is this one. Y is this one. Okay. Then you can uh, make the control volume in this box. So this is the water control volume. Okay, now what is the uh, force that act upon the control volume? Now we need to derive, or we need to know, we need to classify the what kind of force that act upon the control volume of this water. Ada yang bisa menyebutkan apa saja? Atau ada yang bisa menebak, guess, what kind of the force that act upon this control volume of the water? Before we go detail into the equation. Uh, atmospheric pressure, sir. Atmospheric press. Uh, this one is uh, so. This control volume you take from this one. Uh, this one. This you translate into this one. Jadi yang tadinya uh, previously it's the very uh, large. Uh, volume of water, 
inside the cylinder or inside the glass. Then you just take small part of this system into the control volume, become the box shape. Di atas masih ada air ya, sama saja. Atas ada air, bawah ada air, kanan, kiri, depan, belakang ada air. So what uh, would be, ya, yeah? oke. Okay. Weight, sir. The weight. The weight of the water, ya. Yeah. Yes, first, this uh, control volume will have weight force. Ya, yeah, arahnya ke bawah. Gaya berat, the weight force, is the downward position. Arahnya ke bawah. Oke, okay, beside the weight force, ada gaya lain nggak? There is intermolecular forces included, sir. Intermolecular forces, then? I don't know, <laughs> Okay. The other types of force that act upon this box of the liquid is the pressure force. Right? Uh, please remember again that the properties that uh, affected in the static fluid, the fluid that is not moving, is pressure. So, in this control volume, there will be the force caused by the pressure. Ya, jadi, pada control volume yang bentuknya kotak ini, ada gaya yang mengenai control volume yang disebabkan oleh tekanan. Tekanannya dari mana? Where the pressure comes from? From the liquid above the control volume, the liquid below the control volume, and the liquid around the control volume. Right? So, if you put the... So, this will be the Fp, the pressure, uh, the force caused by the pressure, This one also Fp, this one also, this one, this one, and this one. This one called Fp1, this one called Fp2, and you can put amount of the other Fp. So there will be six force act upon this control volume in each side of the box. ya. Yeah. Jadi akan ada kotak sisinya ada berapa? 6 kan ya? Kotak. 6, sir. So the side the total uh, the, the numbers of the side of the box is 6. So in each side of the box there will be the force caused by the pressure. Okay? The horizontal force, this one. This one, this one, this one and this one. The value is the same. Because the pressure is the same, and then the area is also the same. Jadi saling meniadakan. Cancel out each other. So the pressure in the horizontal direction, in the each side, the four side of the box, is canceling each other. Okay, now we... We, we just need to focus on the vertical direction of the force. From the top, there will be force caused by pressure 2, P2, lihatannya ini, P2. And then from the downward, the upward position from the bottom, the upward uh, force caused by P1. Yeah, the direction is uh, berbalikan. Berbalikan itu apa? In reversed direction. Okay, now you just need to consider the sigma force, the total force that act upon this control volume is only P2 times area plus weight force minus P1 times area. Or if you take account uh, 
different biar sama dengan persamaan yang di bawahnya is p1 times area minus p2 times area minus weight force based on the direction the upward direction we take plus sign and the downward direction we take minus sign what is the area the area is The area is this one. This one, right? Atau yang di bawah yang ini. So, the area will be delta X times delta Y. So, P1 times area minus P2. Please correct this one, okay? There is some mistakes in this slide. P2 minus times delta X delta Y. And then minus weight force. Weight force is mass times gravitation. Mass is density times volume. Volume is delta X, delta Y, delta Z. So please put delta Z in this line. Okay. from this one you can uh, divide it all the parameters and this will be equals zero this will equal zero it needs to be zero because the fluid is in static condition okay then from this equation you can uh, divide it all by delta x delta y So the difference of the pressure from the top and the bottom of the contact volume will equals this one. So the pressure difference, pressure difference in this equation is calculated by P2 minus P1. P2 minus P1 will be equals minus Rho G delta Z. So the pressure difference between the top of the control volume and the bottom of the control volume will uh, linear or will, uh, will be the same as density times gravity times the thickness of the control volume or the depth. Uh, the height of the control volume, ya. Jadi beda tekan, beda tekan di sini dirumuskan tekanan yang di atas dikurangi tekanan yang di bawah, itu akan sama dengan densitas fluida dikalikan gravitasi dikalikan tebal fluida atau tebal kontrol volume. Tebal kontrol volume di sini menunjukkan kedalaman fluida. Minus means if you go up, the pressure will be lower if you go down if you go down then the pressure will be higher oke okay, dari situ dulu ada pertanyaan jadi gaya-gaya yang horizontal itu semua sudah saling menyediakan besarannya sama kiri ke kanan kanan ke kiri depan belakang sama itu sudah tidak usah dipertanyakan berarti kan sudah langsung nol semua ya itu ya sigmanya Nah, yang sekarang yang diperhatikan hanya tinggal atas dan bawah. Dari atas dan bawah, Anda bisa turunkan menjadi sigma gaya sama dengan gaya ke atas, dikurangi gaya ke bawah, ditambah atau dikurangi gaya berat. Then you get the correlation for the differences of the pressure. Okay, should be clear enough. So if we expand this control volume, go back to the our initial system, then
if you move, uh, if you go down in the water, like this uh, direction, then the pressure in the below position will be higher than the upper position. So in this position, the pressure will be higher than this one. This one will be higher than this one. And this one will be higher than the upper one. At the top layer of the liquid, the pressure will be exactly the same as the atmospheric pressure. Ya, jadi tepat di permukaan air, karena ini bersentuhan dengan udara luar, maka pada permukaan air, tekanannya akan sama persis dengan tekanan udara luar. It will be exactly the same as the atmospheric air pressure. How much is the value? Again, depend on the location. You can assume it's 1 atm. It is not known. However, if you go deeper into the water, then the pressure will be increased. How much is the increase? Depends on the depth or on the height of the liquid, the height of the water. Okay. Based on the derivation in the control volume, then P at the certain position, or we call it P below at this point, will be equals P above. P above is this one. This one is P atm plus density of the water times gravity times delta Z. Delta Z is height or depth of the water. Or you can say that P below will be P atm times rho y h. This is the absolute pressure of this position. At this position, the absolute pressure, this is the absolute pressure, will be equals at P atmospheric plus rho g h. Or if you just want to calculate the gauge pressure, please remember again that the gauge pressure is the differences between the absolute and the atmospheric pressure. So the gauge pressure will be rho g h. Again, I I explained again that the pressure, when you go deeper from the surface of the water, if you go deeper uh, from the surface, then you will have higher pressure. This is what we call the hydrostatic pressure. The pressure of the liquid caused by the differences in height. Okay, any question? Jelas atau bingung? Ini diem. Cukup jelas ya? I hope it's enough. Jelas, sir. Oke. Okay. Uh, please do the example if you don't understand or if you... Uh, sometimes, oke, okay, uh, disclaimer. Sometimes the example uh, has a different way in calculating or uh, sometimes the example has incorrect Uh, value of uh, answer. So please redo the example. Try uh, by using your understanding in the concept and then uh, check whether the your calculation result is the same as the example result. Sometimes it's different. It's okay. You can discuss with me. Okay. Now by using the concept of hydrostatic pressure, again, we remember that hydrostatic pressure is the pressure caused by the depth or the height of the location compared to the surface. It means if you are in the same position and the fluid is the same fluid or the same liquid, that that's position will have exactly the same 
hydrostatic pressure. For example, in position A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, if you uh, measure the heat, all is the same heat rate, H, this one. Yeah, jadi uh, walaupun posisinya beda-beda, ketinggian dari permukaannya sama. Actually, the heat or the depth, you, you do not need to just uh, calculate or measure from just one uh, baseline. So you can use the surface as the baseline, as long as horizontal flat line. Or you can use the lowest line. If you calculate from the lowest line, the heat is also the same, right? Because the position of A, B, C, D, E, F, and G is the same, and all are in the same types of fluid in water, then the pressure is the same. Yeah. Jadi di titik-titik ini tekanannya sama. How much is the value of the pressure? For example, in A, it means P atm plus density of water times gravitation times H. K. Now, how about this? G and I. Is the pressure the same? Is it the same? No, sir. No, because the position is different. I is more, uh, is deeper than G. Then, P. I is P at G with the same as PA, right? PI and PA is the same, plus density of the water times G times the distance between G and I. Okay, so the pressure at point I will be the pressure at point G times density of water because the liquid is still water times G times H from G and this one. Ini adalah tinggian. How? Sir, I have a question, sir. Yeah, sir. If, uh, if like in an exam or kayak gitu, pasti ditanyain like if the pressure is absolute or gauge or not, sir? Uh, all the calculation should be in absolute but if you if it is required to calculate to be calculated in uh, gauge then you just uh, subtract it with the atmospheric pressure okay sir thank you so all the calculation do it in the but uh, so it means if you just need to calculate the gauge pressure like pa but in gauge then you do not need to use this one right But if you yes. calculate PA as the absolute pressure, then you need to put atmospheric. Okay, how about uh, at H with I? Is it the same? No, sir. No, right? Because even though the position is uh, the same, but here you have mercury. So, for example, this is okay, and this, this is H2. So, the P at H will be atmospheric plus density of water times G times H1. H1 is this one until the boundary between the mercury and water plus rho mercury times G times H2. So 
Oke, okay. cukup jelas ya? Jelas, sir. Oke, okay. so uh, to conclude the this phenomena that as long as the uh, if you have two points like A and B or others, as long as these two points are in the same position compared to some baseline, you can take the surface as baseline or the down 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 line as the baseline. Then, if the position is the same, and it is in the same liquid or the same fluid between these two position, then the pressure at these two position will be the same. Yeah. Jadi kalau anda punya dua titik, dua posisi, ketinggian dua posisi tadi sama, baik diukur dari atas maupun dari bawah. Kemudian dari dua posisi tadi fluidanya sama. Ini kan dari A ke B sama ya, B ke C sama. Dan tekanan di dua posisi tadi itu sama. Itu prinsip hidrostatikanya. Kebalikannya, if the two position have different position, uh, if these two position have different uh, height or depth, or if these two position or these two location are not in the same type of fluid, then the pressure is different. Okay, let's continue. So, please remind again the 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 what the properties of water for example so it will not uh, depending on the shape but if you have like this one the the level is the same or this one is the level uh, because uh, how to say uh, this is all filled with the same uh, the same uh, fluid jadi isinya sama-sama cairan same fluid the same water and you have different types of container you fill the container until each container have same surface level ya yeah. jadi ketinggian bentuk kontennya beda-beda anda isi dengan air, sama-sama air semuanya, sampai ketinggian dari masing-masing kontainer -masing sama. Volume di masing-masing kontainer, -masing is it the same or different? It's the same, sir. It depends. Depends on the volume of the, I mean, uh, if the container has different volumes, then If you want the water to have same surface level, then you need different volume of water. Ya, jadi kalau kontainernya itu volumenya beda-beda, yang satu lebih gede, yang satu lebih gedut, gitu, yang satunya kontainernya uh, lebih ramping, volumenya beda-beda, agar setiap kontainer itu punya ketinggian yang sama, maka volume airnya beda. Oke okay, ya. Bisa dipahami ya. Jadi di sini yang dipentingkan bukan volumenya. This one, we take account that the each water in the container, water in each container have same surface level. It means at the same position, the pressure is same. Okay. The application of the hydrostatic is in uh, what we call uh, hydraulic pump. So the hydraulic pump consists of two parts of chamber. Both are uh, connected to, uh, this is the chamber, and this is the piston. Then the chamber has to different uh, uh, size, the point one is smaller than point two. 
Then you press the piston at point one by using the force, the value is equals F1. Yeah. Jadi di, chamber, di, di point satu, chamber, itu ditekan dengan gaya F1. So, the value or the pressure at point one will equals this one. Okay, this pressure, because the chamber is uh, closed with piston, the pressure at point one will be directed to point two, and the pressure value at point two is the same as point one, because the in a confined uh, system, the pressure will be transmitted equally to the fluid. So at point one, the sorry at point two, the pressure will be the same as point one. This is F two divided by A two. So if you have area at point two is higher than A one, then you will have F two is higher than F one. So this one will be higher than this one. F2 will be higher than F1. It means you can create higher force from small force. Anda bisa menghasilkan uh, gaya yang lebih besar dari gaya yang lebih kecil dengan mengatur luas penampang si gaya. Tekanannya sama, tapi karena luas penampangnya berbeda, membesar, maka gaya yang dihasilkan akan lebih besar. The pressure is the same at point one and point two, but since you are using higher surface area in point two, then you will have higher force in point two. This is the principle we call uh, hukum Pascal, Pascal law, and it's applied in uh, hydraulic pump. Any question? Okay, let's continue then. Okay, now uh, please uh, see this exercise. Oh, still in Indonesia. I hope it's okay. <laughs> so you have uh, three types of fluids, which is uh, oil, and then air, and water. Okay, then you fill these three liquid into the uh, pipe, or we call it manometer. After these three liquids, this three liquid is not, uh, is uh, invisible, is not, uh, yeah, it's invisible, tidak saling larut, then the profile inside the uh, U pipe or the U tube is like this uh, figures. Okay. Now I'll note this this one A, this head at this point, this head is B, this is C, this is D, E. F, G, this one is H. Okay. From these figures, can you mention which two points that have same pressure? Dari gambar ini, Anda bisa uh, menyebutkan ya Dua titik mana yang punya tekanan sama? D and E, sir. Sorry, D? D and E. Pressure at D and pressure at E. Why? Same height, sir. Same height. 
Okay. How about C and F? Is it the same or, or not? Different, sir. Yep. Is it the same? Uh, is the pressure at point C and point F will have the same pressure? I think it's the same, sir. Why? Because it's still in water. Still in water and the height the same. Yes, and the height is the same. Okay. How about B and D? Different, sir. Because? Because it's already a different medium. It's air yeah. compared to water in the same height. So it's not the same. So it's not the same. Because point B is the boundary between uh, oil and air. And point G is water. How about I, itu yang ini ya, I and H. Same or different? Different. Different, because the fluid is already different. Okay, last question. How about A and H? Same, sir. Okay, why? Because the position is different and the fleet is also different. But it's but exposed it's, to just air, sir. Yeah, it's atmospheric. Right. So, power pressure at point A will be, different, uh, will be the same as pressure at point H and it will be the same as the atmospheric pressure. Okay, I think you already got the concept, right? To decide which one has the same pressure. Then the problem asks you to calculate the oil specific gravity. It means, do you still remember the formula for specific gravity? Density of the liquid of the oil divided by density of the water. Then how to calculate the density of the, uh, the specific gravity of the oil, then you can use this application <coughs> of uh, hydrostatic. For example, you use this correlation that P at C you equals at P at F. Because the position is the same, and both from C to F, if you uh, take the, <coughs> the, the from, from C to F, it's all water, right? So, pressure at C will be equals to P A plus density of oil times g times distance h1 a and b okay plus yes, sir. density of l times g times k between b c okay this one equals atmospheric pressure. And the same for point F is pH plus density of water times G times H between H to F. So you use uh, this 
two point C and F as the reference. P at H also atmospheric pressure. So from this equation, then you can uh, this one the same, right? P at C and P at F is the same. So you just uh, subtract this one to this one. You can cancel out the atmospheric pressure. Then you can have the correlation between the density of oil divided by density of water. So what about the air, sir? Yeah, then the, the, the equation should still have the parameters of density of air. However, uh, remember that air if you compare to water or air, if you compare to oil, the value will be much lower, right? Like uh, one over a thousand lower. Yeah, yes, yeah, sure. You, you can do simplification from this formula. This one will be equals zero. So this, not, uh, not zero, sorry, sorry. The multiple, uh, this one, hey. so this one compared to this one and this one is much lower. Then you can neglect the, this one. Okay, so. So you should have like 0 0.8. Please do the calculation later by yourself. Any question first? It's okay, is it, sir? Okay. Then we go to this one. Okay, same like uh, previous example. So uh, here uh, we know that the, the atmospheric pressure is 0 0.101. 0.3 kilopascal and then the gravity will be 9.79 and then density of water you can use 1000 kilogram just ignore this one it's okay okay actually from these figures you can put uh horizontal line in this one and then in this one and also this one also this one kelihatan ya kelihatan enggak di sana kelihatan sir oh this one as well Okay, now let's put it the uh, position uh, looking satu, and then this one is two, this one is oh, do the idea. Sir, SG is density, sir? SG is uh, specific gravity. So if you have density of water is 1000, then if you have the SG oil is 0 0.83, it means the density of oil is 830. And the density of Mercury is 
Fisher. Okay. I'll make a lot of position this one. Five. And then here is six. Here is seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And eleven. So the question is, you need to calculate the pressure at point A. Point A is here. Angkakannya kelihatan nggak? Diurut ya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So the pressure at point A will be equals the pressure at point B. Point one, sir. Point one, ya. Yeah. Oh, point A. Okay, okay. Point A, point A. Yang ditanyakan. Point A is in the oil at this line. So, point four. Point four is here. Yes, sir. Point A is here. So. Oh, okay, okay. So it will the same as point three. Is is it correct? Sir? Point okay. three and okay. so the rule is two points can be considered having same pressure. First, if the height or the depth is the same, and the second, if you take the uh, lintasan apa? If you take from one position to the other position the fluid is still the same. So if you take point 3 and point A, the position is the same. The height is the same, right? But point 3 is uh, water. Before you go to the point A, it needs to travel to uh, mercury and then travel to oil. So point 3 and point A is not the same. Point eleven, sir. Yes. So point A will be equals to point eleven. Then how to calculate the pressure at point eleven? Uh, uh, from this figure, uh, which point have the same pressure? Dari titik-titik yang ada angkanya ini, mana lagi yang punya tekanan yang sama? With point A, sir? No, no, not with point A. Any two points. Point 3 and point 6, sir. Point 3 and point 6. Right. Then? Point 4 and point 5. Yes. Then? Six and eleven. Six and eleven. Is the same? Uh, that's different, sir, because it needs Wait. to pass through a different fluid. Yes, correct. Oh. It needs to pass the water, mercury, and then oil. So it's not the same. Eight and nine is the same, sir. Okay. The eight and the nine. How about uh, two, and, 2 and 7 is also the same. Okay. 2 and 7. Ada lagi nggak? Udah sih, sir. Okay. How about point 1? The value of point 1 at atmospheric, right? Okay. So, from this position, Actually, uh, you can calculate the pressure at point A or point 11. Gimana caranya? How you can calculate the pressure at point 11? By using the concept of hydrostatic. Yes, sir. How you will calculate? If you know the value of P1, P1 is atmospheric pressure, then you know the, the position of its fluid, the heat and the position of its fluid, then how you can calculate the pressure at point A? 
or point eleven? Uh, find the pressure at point two and seven, sir. At point two and seven, it will be the same, right? Yes, sir. Okay, right. So P two or P seven will be the atmospheric pressure times density of water times G times H from one to two. Ya, dari satu ke dua, kan? Betul nggak? Betul, sir. How much is the value? 600 minus 100. 200. 200. So, 400. Okay, you got the pressure at point 2, and it's the same at point 7. After that, you calculate the pressure at point 8. How much is the uh, value of the pressure at point X? It's equal to the pressure at point 7 minus or plus because you go upward. From 1 to 2, then you go downward, right? So you put plus. But this one, 8 is above 7. So this one is minus times G times H from 7 to 8. How much the value is? 140 millimeters. 140. Okay. This one equals P9, right? P8 is equals P9. Then P11 or P8 is P9 plus density of oil times G, times H from 8 to 9. Nilainya berapa? 140 ditambah 90. This one, 140 times 90. Okay, then you get the value of PA. Yes, sir. Any question? So, sir, there is no shortcut here, yes, sir. <laughs> shortcut for what? <laughs> yeah, just to make it simpler. Tapi memang beneran harus satu-satu gitu, yes, sir? Yes, then, uh, so you need to understand first, uh, by the concept of hydrostatic, you need to know which point that has the same pressure. Like this one, we already tried to, actually, the, the, the calculation or the position, you do not need text like, from P2, you can start from P3 or P4 as well, right? But maybe the calculation will take uh, much uh, longer. So as long as you can uh, point out which two point that have uh, same pressure. So if you go up or you go down, you just do the calculation of the hydrostatic, the rho P H. Depends on the density. So the row is the density of the fluid that you analyze. You do the calculation. Like for this one, when you're calculating uh, P2 and P7, the fluid is water. When you do the calculation at P7 to P8, uh, to, uh, then the, density, uh, the, the, the liquid is mercury. When you do the calculation from 9 to 11, then the density is oil, ya. Yeah. Jadi anda perlu tahu posisi di mana saja yang tekanannya sama. Dua pasang uh, sepasang posisi, dua buah posisi yang tekanannya sama. Kemudian kalau mau mengukur tekanan di tempat lain, ya tinggal gunakan prinsip ROGH saja. Kalau makin turun, if you go downward, the pressure will increase. Then you take the plus one. But if you go upward the pressure will reduce, then you take the minus sign. I think there is no shortcut for this one. <laughs> and please remember that any point that connected to the air will be atmospheric pressure.
Oke? Okay? Any question? Coba dikerjain ya. Jadi kalian uh, please do the exercise uh, by yourself. Uh, and see, uh, then you can uh, understand the concept more. Intinya hanya rugi ya. The concept is this one. Okay, sir. Okay, any other question? Okay, I think we should stop right here because if I continue, then there will be more explanation. Then I'm afraid uh, the time is not uh, enough since I will have another class at one o'clock. Okay, so no more question. It's enough, sir. Okay, then. Uh, Thank you very much for today. Then we will meet again on uh, when? Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. okay, thank you. Uh, bye bye. Good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.